Hello everybody, Jay Smith back with you again. We're talking theory and we're talking about learning music as a whole instead of looking at everything as genres like gospel, classical. And a great lesson that I can give you is over the weekend I was just going back listening to some old gospel and in my rotation popped up Jay, uh, Jay Moss. There's a praise on the inside that I can't keep to myself. Y'all remember that? Well, at the end, there was a run or movement that all the musicians went crazy about. Everybody was like, man, what is that? And I was sitting playing Christmas music this weekend, and I saw an easy correlation that's going to blow your mind. Now, I'm not here to do a tutorial. I'm here to, you know, challenge your thinking. Listen to Jay Moss at the end of it. Y'all remember those chords? Well, if you listen to it, that's church. Now, that sounds good. There's a praise on the inside when he came up with that. Now, I'm on a piano uh, keyboard. I'm not on a real organ, so I'm having to use my left hand. But if you listen to that, listen to what it's doing. And I begin to hear bells are ringing, jingling, what a wonderful sight. Let's give thanks to the Lord above, cause Santa Claus comes tonight. What's the only difference? He went to the six and put a lot of tritones. That's all it is. Gospel musicians, you've got to just, uh, you've got to stop listening to just gospel. You're hurting yourself. Believe it or not, everything you hear that you think is tight, the reason it's tight to you because it's stuff that you're not used to hearing. When people start bringing classical elements in the gospel like Corey Henry, that's why you think it's tight because it's stuff that you're not used to hearing. So when you hear... 